Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve and graph this compound inequality. So a lot of times we're looking at inequalities, especially one like this, where it's a one-step inequality. Again, we want to just think of it as like an equation. Um, so sometimes I even tell my students just to rewrite this as an equation and then solve it. Well, when we're, re when we're solving an equation, remember, we look at our variable and say, all right, we need to undo the operations that are happening to our variable. So here you can see that 3 is being added to my x. So to undo addition by 3, I'll subtract 3 on both sides. So I can say x is equal to 7. Well, for an inequality, it's going to be the exact same thing. We use our inverse operations and our properties of equality on both sides. So now I have the inequality x is greater than neg uh, 7. So now I create a number line. And when I'm creating a number line, I always like to start where my value is if I have the opportunity. Obviously, I know on your homework and on tests and stuff, your teacher or, or the test might not have a number line with your point in the center. But you, that's OK. You can find it. And what I do is I pick that point and I make an open circle. Then to determine if it's going to be closed or open, I need to test that point. So what I'll say is I'll evaluate for 7 into my inequality. Is 7 greater than 7? And that is false. Therefore, my point is going to remain open. You can also know that any time it's greater than or less than, then it's always going to be open. But when it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it's going to be closed or a part of the solution. Now, as I make my more values, um, a couple ways we can do this. You can say what the inequality is out loud and kind of reason with it. x is greater than 7. What are the values that are greater than 7? Well, obviously, that's going to be my values to the right. But you can also plug in or evaluate using your test points. And if it's true, that's where you're going to shade. 10 is obviously greater than 7. And 3 is obviously not. That's true. And 3 is obviously not greater than 7. So therefore, it's false. Therefore, we'll shade our inequality that way. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph your one-step inequality. Thanks.